Hello, my name is Alton, and you're looking at round 42. Round 42 is a game from 1986, and you're looking at a screen res of 160 by 100. CGA, in actual 16 colors, which was rare for a CGA monitor to do. This game is very, very special to me. It is because this is the game that got me into gaming. It shipped with um, the first home computer my dad bought, which is in my bio, by the way. It was an 8088 80, XT computer with a total of 4 megahertz and an 8 megahertz turbo, turbo setting. Woo! And of course, this game ran perfect at 4 megahertz. 8 megahertz actually made it unplayable. Well, di more difficult. It felt better at 4, I should say. Um, of course, I don't have that type of computer, so we're emulating this on DocsBox running in OpenGL, so Fraps can actually record it. <laughs> Hooray! Um, yeah, we're just gonna, I'm just gonna play and chit-chat and be s incredibly nostalgic. I do plan on doing other games from my youth, uh, which I'm very nostalgic t about. And uh, each game I'm gonna pick taught me something, and what it taught we will get to it eventually. Um, this is not going to be a regular series, there's not going to be an episode every week or every day or whatever. Um, it's something I'm going to do uh, when the mood strikes me and right now the mood has struck me to be nostalgic. So let's be nostalgic. 42 levels should be doable in one playthrough. Um, this game has no ending so once we're getting once we're by level 42 I'm just going to say well that's it because if I get into this, I can be at this game for absolutely hours on end because it does, just doesn't stop. Ever. So, without further ado, I give you round 42. Here we go. Right, so, basic setup. Simple. We have ships to shoot. Ships that usually move from left to right or from the right to the left. They shoot, some don't shoot. And all of them can be shot down using that phaser rifle. In the top left, you can see my score. Right next to that, we have the phaser charges. That's the lightning bolts. To the right, you can see my level. Yeah, ships. One bullet kills. Health wasn't actually invented back then, I guess. Um, the concept of that was alien. You had one life, you got hit, you died. And out of lives, well, out of luck, restart. So it wasn't strange to be incredibly familiar with the first few levels of any game and then you would had to grind yourself through some parts and some games just had several, some levels which is so incredibly or difficult. Um, they didn't have a difficulty curve, they had a difficulty freaking mountain and um, that part would kill you and if you got by that part, um, you'd be fine. And uh, anyone who's ever played the PC version of a certain PC version of Street Fighter and faced off with Dalsim probably knows what I'm talking about. We're not here to talk about that, we're here to talk about round 42. Right, this level, simple again. They don't go down, they just move up and left and left right and circle up and down a bit. They do get really fast though. And which is a common theme in every level. Every level stuff just speeds up as you um, kill more of it. Now these I absolutely detest. I don't know why, they just bug me. Um, they also start going down irregularly and that makes it just more difficult, so you have to dive underneath them, which just increases the odds of getting uh, shot. Right, so, um, right, this is the one of the asteroid levels. These are asteroids. They're flying through an asteroid field, apparently. So, uh, once we get through, the game level ends. There's no actual ending to this level, you just um, shoot the randomly appearing asteroids for extra points. And after that, it's just basically time-based. There's several, there's one other type of level which is time-based. Alright, so, this, these levels, um, you get aliens moving um, from side left to right. And this is actually freaking annoying because you have to get by them. So, now you can do it again. Of course, fuck me. Right, holding space prevents you from warping in, so now I'll just wait and get back. 
I shouldn't have gotten hit by that, by the way. Now, I've, now I'm out of phaser charges, which is particularly bad for this level. Because these guys just get f really fast and really, really dangerous. At some point you actually can't, basically can't avoid them and they kill you. Which might happen. Oh, give me some luck here. Nope. Oh wait, I have one charge. That should be enough. This is why you want at least three charges on that level, but eh, messed up. We should be okay though. These guys slowly go downwards. But they're fairly big, so they're easy to hit. What they're supposed to be, I don't know. <laughs> but they shoot. As do most things in this game. And again, having a couple of phaser charges, which I would have had a whole bunch of if I didn't die. Now I died again. Not good. <sighs> Maybe I'm too tired for this nonsense. Anyway, let's see if we can actually kill it. Nope! And I died. Game over? Nope. Last life. Just adding excitement, people. Just adding excitement. Got it. Right, so I only need to do is survive this crap and get some extra points from this. I don't know, these are supposed to be some sort of ships. I have no idea. I figured they'd be like space crocodiles or something like that. But you know, in a, in a, uh, if you're 10 years old, you have a really active imagination. So, um. Some people don't quite grow out of it though. But that's a whole different story. Um. Yeah, all, this, all, these, all these pixels. Man. Were they ever threatening? This is one of those gimme levels. It's just really, really, really simple. Because they, um, they actually stop moving um, vertically or horizontally when you get straight below them. And they'll shoot some bullets, which you always miss, if you keep moving at least. And um, get rid of them that way. There we go. Right, so now we have a healthy amount of phasers build up again, which should be coming quite handy. I'm um, not very happy about having only two lives because death does just just freaking happens in this game. Keyboard, key, sometimes your keys get a bit of unresponsive because it is emulated. It just happened actually. Just kept going in one direction. I didn't want to. Okay, which will kill you on a level like this if you're unlucky. Crap, man! It seems to be getting worse. Anyway. If I can get a few extra points here. Oh man, this level used to kill... I, this was pretty much one of those friggin' impossible levels for me to do. Back then, this just seemed like those friggin' astros were coming from absolutely every direction <laughs> available and they would just home in to destroy me. Which of course was nonsense. <laughs> felt, sure as hell felt like it, and then I would die, and be annoyed, and hated the game, and never quite gave up on it, though. Um, I didn't... I mean, I'm gonna probably get through this, and even though I died at the beginning a bit, so... But back then, dying at the first couple of levels, I usually would just give up and start again. Just have a couple of extra lives for, um things that were going to happen. But eventually, after many, many, many hours, and years, if I'm honest, I finally decided, oh, no, I'm going to see if I can actually play this game again. And of course, I had to grab the old PC for it, because I hadn't found quite found uh, something like DOSBox before. And, um... Ooh! Oh, man. Oh, man, that just... I could have died there, right then, there. Ooh, that was a pretty difficult warp gate, actually. Um, okay, I'm very happy that I've got a plenty amount of lasers, so I want to actually... Usually what I would do is not wait for this to happen. That's for sure. Right. If you're lucky, you don't die. <laughs> Shit. I was gonna try and go for full clear here. You can actually, um... 
them all in one hit. Okay, I need to kill two at least. Crap. Uh, is that the last one? This is the last one. Of course, now I'm stuck on this level, uh, which is the only level that employs a mechanic, which is, I suppose, cloaking ship. These ships are cloaking, re-cloaking, and shooting. <laughs> yes, they are. Mm, brilliant in it. Yeah. Not difficult in and of itself, just takes a friggin' amount of time. Um, this is the last one. Um, the last one's impossible to kill if you've wasted your phasers early. Crap. It's actually a difficult one. There we go. Got it. Alright. Variation of a theme. This is level 3, but this time they split up into rows. Here is, of course, to kill them quickly, and there we go. Alright, let's see if we can actually get some points out of this one, because I want more ships. Of course, I should not be taking stupid risks, but eh, it's an LP. LPs. LP should contain at least a bit of stupid risk. I've got four lives, I'm okay. There we go. And remember these? Yeah. This level is to do me in. Goodness me. I, I would get nervous just by from realizing what was going to happen. And I'd fuck up because of it. <laughs> Not so much now. Ah, I steered in too early. Lost all my phasers. No. There you go. Say hello to level 2, but a bit more garbage. I don't think these actually move down though. They just keep moving sideways, so... There's absolutely no reason to... Absolutely no reason to waste any phaser charges on stuff like this. Which is a real consideration for me. There we go. Level 3. One. Getting close to the ending now. Yeah. Can already smell the finish line. Of course, actually finishing this game for the first time, my god. Felt like a milestone to be honest. Like a man, I finally managed to kill that finish that one game which always bugged me. Because by the time I finished this game, I already finished a whole bunch of other games which had come along, as they do. But, you know, and I just realized I, I should be good enough now to do this. Uh, but, of course, I had thought that a couple of times over the years. I should be good enough now to actually finish this game. I'm going to try again. And then fail miserably. have been a psychological thingy, I don't know. See, this is how I used to do it. See, it's all coming back to me. Yeah, but, you know, having actually... F this, even though it's all really simple, each level kind of has a unique tactic, or at least you have a couple of tactics which you need to employ. And figuring them all out. Figuring out what's different actually each and every time. It's actually pretty well done. And this is basically a one with bullets, so... Oh dear. Oh yeah. Another one? Yeah, we're gonna get a couple of warp gates now. And... Yeah. Oh dear. Damn it! If you don't die, these things are actually really good for getting phaser charges. Voila. And this, yeah, this is a you know, shooting level, and then we're gonna get warp gates again, except for level 42. Come on. There we go. Warp gates again. Oh, yeah. And another one. Uh, 
which wasn't that difficult. And another one. Oh god. I can do this. There we go. It's actually... It's the ones, the warp gates, that actually require you to... You can't actually... Okay, I haven't... I thought I would figure it's obvious, but you can't actually decide your forward movement during a warp gate. But anyway, some of these warp gates, they would actually um, <laughs> have you... Sometimes they're, they're completely random, so... Some, the real difficult ones require to move left and right in the middle or something, okay, in quick succession, because and offer minimal room to do so. Oh, man. Those will still kill me. Let's see. One more. Ah, oh, crap, miscounted. Totally miscounted. Damn. How funny. And there we go. That was round 42. And now things are just going to restart um, with a higher difficulty. You're still going to get very bendy warp gates, and uh, most of the enemies you've encountered will actually uh, have adopted their strategy from um, um, the later versions you encounter in the first playthrough. But man, reaching this the first time, actually getting through all the way, damn, yeah, that was a real, that was a milestone for me, and um, well, this game got me into PC gaming, which in turn got me into coding, which in turn got me, well, into the type of work I'm in, which I also really enjoy. So, yeah, imagine this being my Mario, I would have gotten into console gaming and went, would have gone into a completely different direction. So this is why this game is important to me. For starters, it is fun, and two, it got me into PC gaming which to this very day I enjoy greatly. However, I am going to end it here, so thank you all very much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. I will be back with more nostalgia, but I can't promise on when and where the mood will have just has to strike me again, and you'll see it appearing on my channel, So, which you're, of course, completely free to visit at your leisure. Thank you again for watching. My name is Altarn. This was Altarn Goes Nostalgic, Episode 1, Round 42. Goodbye for now.